Hi, Michael Larsen here again with a new video, and today I'm going to talk about the IBM NetVista released in 2000. This will be a two-part video. So first I'm going to clean it up because I found this in the dumpster for quite some time ago. And I'm also going to install a TNT2 graphics card because I've never tried that before, so it will be interesting to see the performance in games. I will also then in part two install a GeForce 256, then we can see how would it be to upgrade from a TNT2 to a GeForce 256. But first, let's try to restore this computer, clean it up, and install a TNT2. To open up this computer, we push these buttons on the side here, and then just lift up. Immediately, I see we need to glue these things here. If we turn the machine over, we see the model number on the back is 6578PAG, or PAG. It's pretty easy to disassemble this computer, so that's nice. It has 128 MB of SD RAM, Pentium 3 866 MHz, with 133 MHz bus speed. And the capacitors looks fine. In another video, someone commented that I should look inside the PSU not just measuring the voltage. I have tested this machine, so I know the PSU works, but this is why you do a visual inspection. At least one capacitor needs to be replaced. The rest seems fine. I don't think that green stuff in the capacitor on the left there is because of leakage. I measured the voltages on the big capacitors, and yeah, there is nothing left, so it should be safe to work with, but before I do anything else, I want to get rid of the majority of the dust. Okay, that's done, so let's replace the capacitor. Then I do some more cleaning and scrubbing and scrubbing, and scrubbing, and scrubbing. <sighs> Gluing these things back together wasn't as easy as I thought. I am using epoxy here, but I also added a ton of hot glue, so it worked out fine in the end. Then this CPU. They always add too much thermal paste, every single time. What's wrong with these people? Then I apply some thermal paste, but moving on. I install Sound Blaster Live sound card. And then the TNT too. So now the machine is set up with a nice 19 inch monitor from Samsung. So let's try Supreme Snowboarding. Going to play in 1024 by 768 at 32 bit color depth because we do 3 doesn't can't, can't handle 32 bits, so I thought it would be appropriate to use 32 bits since I can. Alright. This is one great game. This is the best snowboarding game that I know about. It has such a great feel to it. Oh. And the sense of altitude and speed is so great. It's so immersive. Come on. I'm stuck here. And you can take different lanes uh, to see if you can find the faster uh, route. Like, I can also go outside the track, like here. 
very not you're not supposed to be here kind of if we look at the map this is me there are people who have patched the game and they are competing in this game so that they can get find routes outside the track and still like get to the finish line and complete the race that went quite smoothly let's see if we can increase the graphics even more let's see here 24 bit and that's it sound if we choose choose snow then it will be a bit harder for the graphics card and the machine Well, it seems to work quite nice. I'm a bit surprised. I'm a bit surprised. It looks so nice. Let's try Need for Speed, Porsche Unleashed. 1600 by 1200. Uh, all right. I have adjusted the monitor for um, 1024 by 768, so let's go with that. Mm, projected, I think that's better. Not sure. This is quite smooth. And the last game is Revolt. I played this game first as a demo and I loved this game. It has great graphics, very uh, like summer like, colorful, happy feel to it. Oops, I. <laughs> that was the wrong way. Let's see what happens if we change the settings here and increase the resolution. And now we can see it is stuttering a lot more. Ooh, look at this. But you shouldn't be surprised that it is stuttering a bit now. But let's see in the next video where I'm going to take a look at the GeForce 256 to see what different difference it makes. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time.